everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is DJ Andy Do from Melbourne. I am still getting up from my bed and I had my coffee, but the sleepy head is still sleeping, so I don't want to shout on the top of my voice. But anyways, welcome to Sorrento and Rye and Mornington Peninsula. So this is a journey continued from Melbourne. And in my last vlog, you must have seen how do you use your public transport to reach to Sorrento. If you haven't watched it, the link is in the right top corner. And today we're going to do a very special thing. So stay tuned with me. Let's look around in Mornington Peninsula and explore the different places at Rye and Sorrento. So till then, join the call. why not do some travel videos and vlogging um, so basically what I do is uh, this is my small action camera as you can see and it is uh, Insta360 uh, but it, it's a higher version of GoPro now so you can say hi to the camera say hi <laughs> here we go uh -huh. and uh, so yes yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are at the hottest spot of Mornington Peninsula, which is Hot Springs. Yes, you heard it right. So what we did was we took an Uber, quick Uber ride from our Rye Hotel and we reached the um, Hot Springs. And the speciality of this Hot Spring is you can have your day passes, half day passes, or you can do glamping as well. So we can stay back. What we're going to do is we're going to do a one hour spa and uh, then probably we'll have a dining as well. Uh, you have a lot of spa treatments, massages over here and you can get all the details online. The link is in Hi, uh, we have a, this one, sure, absolutely, alright, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are at Coffee Hut, by the time we wait for our slot to come in, we have booked in for an hour, and we are probably targeting to go to the hilltop, which is maybe right up here, but before going there, I thought we should have to have something to eat, Otherwise, we got the special chicken and leek pie as you can see over here. And it's a beautiful cafe and we have beautiful Emily over here making my coffee. The cappuccino. Say hi to my YouTube audience. Thank you Emily. <laughs> How are we doing? Fantastic as always. How are you? I'm good. How is how is the weather today? It's very cold. It's so cold, but it's not raining. It's
one? The hilltop one's just up there. It's uh, absolutely amazing. It is? I would uh, I would recommend the um, the ice cave. Yep. Have you been to the ice cave? No, yet? we just came in here. Oh, it's absolutely amazing. So okay. it's, you, you go in there for three minutes and then you go in the sauna, but as you're coming out, you get this sense of euphoria and you just feel amazing. It's where, absolutely... where is it? Um, so it's just down, so if you go straight down there yep. and you go all the way down to the bottom, yep. um, you know where the amphitheater is? You oh, yeah, 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 that's like the Oh, perfect, yeah. perfect. Yeah. All right, thank you so much. Please subscribe to the channel yeah, and share it with your awesome. friends. Um, what, um, to the hilltop, as you can see, this it's absolutely amazing just to be on the top of the skies and inside the hot spring. And it looks quite busy, so we'll wait for a while and then enjoy the view around. There's a lot of bird watching. And see from here, go to spot near this. Lovely. So let's try and see if we can get a spot. Oh, wow, look at that. So beautiful. All right, as you can see over here, this is a dial which actually shows you around different hot springs around the world. Oh my god, look at that. Oops. That's Taptapani, India. It's in Orissa. Yep. It's my state where I come from, Taptapani. It is 9,372 kilometers from here. And there's another hot spring in India called as Ganeshpuri. This is in California. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm at the hottest pool and top of the hot spring of Mornington Peninsula. As you can see, the view is really amazing from here. And due to the COVID restrictions, it's six people at a time and just for 10 minutes so that everybody get a chance to enjoy the view and look around. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are done at the hilltop. Now we should go down to the more public path and check out how is the temperature. Somebody told me it's 42 degrees is the highest, so we will go there, figure out how it is. If you are in Mornington Peninsula, this is the time you should be here, and probably you should book in early and book it for the whole day. And you can also have a half day pass if you want, and in that half day pass, you can actually book cabanas where you can have your own picnic and enjoy. If you are in a group, of six or twelve amazing this is the place you to be okay just pick a spot be here and enjoy in your cabanas so without further ado let's go to the next public path we are heading now to the fire and ice center oh you know this is a tree called a beard heat. okay anyway so where was i we were going to the fire and the ice center it's a quick trail from where we were hilltop is the best viewing hot spring and then if you walk down on your right hand side these are the cabanas i was talking about you can book these cabanas and just enjoy your evening or the afternoon if it is a bright sunny day so amphitheater on the right bathing alley on the left and we probably have to go this way this way so it's better to have a map and look around for different mapping spots yeah, we can go this way look at those cabanas this is a dome you can book in the dome as well the relaxation dome And then there are relaxation cabanas as well over here. Look at that, look at that.
we are at the sauna so we will first go into the hot sauna and then right inside is the ice cave so first we'll experience a hot sauna very hot and then very cold let's see how it goes <laughs> No worries. After the hot sauna, it's now time to get inside the ice cave and check out how is the place. There we go. Ice cave it is. Ooh, feels so cold. Wow, feels like you're in the igloo. You can see the ice forming over here. All right, let's get inside. So, I'm inside the coldest chamber uh, where you can see the ice formed over here. Yep, over here, over here, over here. In fact, in some ice caps in this world. Wow. It's really cold. But once you are out of the hot sauna, you won't feel that much of cold, to be honest. I find it's okay, actually. Maybe after a while, if I go inside the hot pool now, I feel like, woo, what's happening? But here, yeah, look at the doors. Lovely. Let's go inside. So this is less cold, and that's the other cold. <laughs> All right. We are at the hot pool again and what you're looking in front of me is an amphitheater usually in the evening there's few events that happens and you can actually enjoy those events from here and you have to book in early so that you get the best spot and the best view this is the amphitheater ladies and gentlemen boys and girls we are done at the hot spring peninsula hot spring it was a lovely day and we went to the hilltop so hilltop was got it has got the amazing view you on my left hand side it was east side i guess was the mountains and on the other side south side it was ocean so lovely view you should be there and the next recommendation is sauna and hot and the just sorry fire and uh, cold chambers so you can go to the sauna and then go into the cold chambers it's brilliant boys and girls finally i got a cab and thanks to raj who came and picked us up raj is all here and he is also from the land of biryanis you see hyderabad <laughs> we love biryani i mean i love biryani she's like crazy about biryani and i remember in my last vlog i talked about biryani <laughs> Here's the biryani queen over here. So yeah, if you are if you are thinking of getting an Uber, my recommendation is uh, schedule it because you won't get an Uber right away. Uh, the best way is either call 13 cabs or there is a Mornington Peninsula taxis.com.au. Call them. It all goes to 13 cabs and then 13 cabs will send you a cab. It, you have to wait, but yeah, you won't get an Uber straight away. Uh, so my recommendation is if you are using public transport, so schedule your cabs, plan it accordingly and uh, if you are driving, then well nothing like that, but if you have public transport, if you schedule it, it will be right on time, right? So let's enjoy the ride. Alright, after an amazing hot spring, it's time to eat something. I was very hungry. So right next to my hotel, it's a lime spice hawker beach bar just across the rye pier and it's it's got a thai cuisine and i feel it's going to be lovely so we have ordered some thai food over here and some bao as well so let's check out the place and eat something before we call it for the day all right let's get inside
thank you so much. We've got some locals over here. No, no, we're up over there. Oh, wow. Yes. Welcome. Yeah. We came, um, came yesterday, had our lunch, oh, and we're back again today. Wow, that's lovely. It was so good. <laughs> yes, we wanted the same thing, the skewers. Have you? Yes. Well, we went for the other skewers yesterday, so we're trying the satay ones today. Where are you from, Melbourne? Yes. Wow, did you drive all the way? Oh, that's cool. I mean, I'm also from Melbourne, I think, Dublin. Okay. So I'm a YouTube blogger as well. So I took the public transport to show the tourists that you can actually come to this place just by train to Frankston and then by bus mm -hmm. over here and then go to Mornington and go to the hot spring, come back, have dinner. So yeah. food here is awesome. Here we go, guys. You know where to come for the food. This is the place to be. It is. It is. It is. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. All right, here we go. We've got some feedback here. Quick one before we start. Look at the place. I love it. Lovely lights. There's a wood fire pizza. Boys and girls, we have got Tash and Misty who runs this place. And um, this is an amazing place. I've got few people outside. They yes, came for right. dinner yesterday and they came back again. And we have ordered the same order. I Hopefully, it's going to be amazing. So, tell me more about this place. Oh, Tash or Misty. oh gosh. I okay, so Lime Spice, we're here. We're at Asian Fusion Restaurant. Uh, it's a laid back. We just like a little bit of a funky uh, restaurant. Yep. Um, and we like everyone to have a good time, to enjoy the food. Um, we're right across from the beach. So we can go for a walk. And it's a beautiful day today. It's a beautiful day. And Easter's coming up, so make sure you book. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, so if you are in Rai, if you're staying in the Rai Hotel, this is the place to be and looks amazing. The place is nice, the music is nice, and you've got a good drinks as well. Any special tips for the people coming from Melbourne? Um, you know what, book ahead, yeah. um, <laughs> but we're happy to have you in, so come on down. Perfect. Thank, Thank you. you so much. So you guys need to come here, book ahead. That's <laughs> that's the message, right? Thanks, Dad. Thank you. Thank you so, Thank much. You so much. Cheers. Until the next vlog, please like and share this channel and as much as spread the love and promote regional Victoria. Until next time, please keep sanitizing your hands, love yourself, love your neighbors and enjoy.